everyone. My name is Ashley and I am an analog collage artist that loves to experiment. And today I am continuing work on my 12 page zine, which is inspired by vintage pinup art. The overall theme is about the human body. I began by playing around with these over the top retro images of sexuality and instinctively paired them with these depictions of the inner workings of the human body and everything took off from there. So far, I have completed the front cover and the back cover. I have the first two pages done. In my last video, I skipped ahead to the centerfold and made this page. And then for TikTok this morning, I made this one. I am happy with the progress that I've made so far, but I've also been chugging along very slowly and I want to pick up the pace a bit. So I am going to make two pages today and it's going to be a struggle for me, but I think I can accomplish it. To make the work a little easier, I have already sourced the images that I plan on using. So hopefully I can just, you know, get these pages done and not overthink it too much. So I want to go ahead and jump in. I hope at this point you have taken your collage materials and you are going to create a zine along with me. So we have all of our images. The two main subjects are, of course, our woman and this eye. One of the things that is a little problematic is that there is a stamp over her leg and I need to cover that up with something. I originally cut out a picture of a smaller eye to cover it up. And as I was cutting this out, I thought like this could work, but it's also going to look ridiculous. And I was correct. It looks crazy, so I'm not going to use it. I will probably use um, some texture or something around it to hide that little text. Okay, so let's do some placement. The eye is a little bit too big for the page, so we're going to have to do some trimming. Unfortunately, all of these, I'm going to assume they're veins. <laughs> I'm not a scientist, but I'm, I'm going to call them veins. The, all of these will probably have to go. And um, let's just like play around a little bit with the direction of it or maybe we can get if we put it up here like so we can get everything in although I really want the pupil to be really prominent I don't want her covering it up too much I like that. I think it works this way, right? Let me just trim off all of that excess, unfortunately. Okay. And I believe this reads as an eye still. All right, so that's, I'm happy with this. Very satisfied. So let's get some texture going. I have some roses, I have a crater, I have some minerals, and I have this waterfall that I thought could be really interesting. I wanna play with this one first. So let's clear all that off and let's just instinctively tear. I do want to capture as much of that red and blue. I think that it could play with the eye really well. Let's just... Or maybe it's not going to fit. 
in a way that makes it interesting. No, I don't like it. I like it, but I don't like it here. So set that aside for a later project. Um, I do think it'll just be easier to put these in place because they're a nice solid blue. I don't have to worry about obscuring anything important or covering anything up. And what do I value more? Do I want this? Or do I want the top? I like this better. And you can slide this down. Put her here. Okay. And I want this piece. And do I want this little piece of blue peeking out? I I don't mind it. I also don't love it. We can put the crater. Just to make it continuous, put the crater behind it. Put this back up top. Okay, I like that. And we, I need something to cover up her leg. but I want her legs to be visible. Oh, you know what could be fun? Turning her upside down. Or keeping her right side up. That solves a lot of problems. And I actually kind of like that. I like that. Is it funnier if she's upside down? I think if I have her upside down, when it when it's time to copy the zine and bind it, I know myself and that's going to confuse me. So we'll keep her right side up and just have her peeking out behind the eye. I like that. I think that's fun. Okay. Um, and then our blue texture pieces. And did I, I guess I want the ridges hanging out. And I think to break up some of that blue and play with the red in the eye, we'll just tuck a rose back here. I think. And maybe a rose down here. Mm. I like the red, but I you can't, they don't read as roses. And I don't want to waste these because these could be effective in a different project. So I think, honestly, simple is good. I'm happy with this. It's, it's working for me. I like it well that was really easy <laughs> that's a page done i think um yeah I don't, that's the thing about zines that i really do enjoy just getting something out putting something down on the page having fun with it not overthinking it not doing too much this is a good page i think and i'm ready to glue it down
All right, let's get into page two. The main subjects are Our Lady and this skull. And I cut out a ton of different pieces for texture because I wasn't sure which ones I like the best. So we'll have to narrow that down. But first, how are we going to fit these two together? I've done a lot of women sitting on things. Maybe, maybe she can be like leaning on it, if that works. Put her in like the crook of the, that, that sort of works. Although I want a little more, I like that better. But just getting her to fit on the page. There's something, you know, just you just, <laughs> whenever you run out of room, you just twist it up a little bit and everything fits. It's like magic. It's a magic trick. That's what I want. I want it like that. So I just want to cut the excess again. I like it satisfied with it I don't like I know that of course this is her skirt but I don't like this little black flap there so I'm going to cut that out do not vibe with it so it must go Uh, that looks a, <laughs> like looks a little bit sloppy now, so I just want to clean that up. Okay. We want something like this. Good. Okay, so for our texture pieces thinking of going darker rather than lighter. So some of these like silvery grays, I think can go, I want something a little more bold, though I'm interested in the diamond, but I, I want this for sure. Um, um, mm -hmm. I want this. And I, I liked this when I was cutting it out, but it, <laughs> looking at this now, it looks a little gross and I'm not, super into it for this. I'm going to set that aside. Maybe this can be a contender. Maybe. Let's, I just want to start by ripping this in half. Cut a little more off. there and I sort of wanted maybe the diamond up top hmm. when I do stuff like this and I, I cover up so much of it I always wonder like does it read as a diamond is it visible as a diamond is there another project where I can use this and make it more prominent? And perhaps I don't want to. It's the thing about analog collaging, you know, you only have, for the most part, you only have one shot at a certain image and I don't like to waste things. But I do kind of like, I do sort of like it. Let me take a step back. I sort of like it, but sort of is not good enough. So you must go. And I am changing my mind about these silver pieces. Uh, this one is more interesting to me. So let's rip it up. Okay. 
like that. And then I want to use the other half of this and I want to cut out some of these ridges, make those more prominent. And let's see. Okay. I like it. I like it. I've changed my mind about this silver piece again. I just want something to go where her feet are. And I think this could be a contender. Or... No, save that. And let's use this. Break up some of that black. A little bit of brighter silver. If I can fit that in. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I also think that I want to add some text to this page. I haven't used words on a lot of the pages in this zine. So I have in front of me some clippings from the magazine pages themselves. And I also have these baggies full of words. Although I think honestly, right on top, we have this black and white oh boy and i like that so i think i think it's gonna fit pretty well on this page so let's use that So I did it. I managed to get two pages done in one session and I am really happy with how both of them turned out. Although I'm pretty partial to this black and silver one, I think that this is really cool. And I enjoyed this entire process. It is what zine making is all about for me. Just getting things on the page, having fun with it, not overthinking, and just expressing myself. And this was great. So I believe that we only have four more pages left. Yes. And so in my next video, we are going to tackle pages seven and eight. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please leave a like and subscribe for future content. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. Mm -hmm.